Hey guys, in this video, I am going to teach you around the batch script arrays. How do you handle arrays and how that can be useful in a practical scenario with an user story we are going to learn. So are you interested? So let's move on to our computer screen and let's get started. Hey guys, let's read the user story number 15. Here, Rose has some requirement for the scripter. Hello scripter, we would we hold a ceremony to award prizes. A particular group of persons will receive rewards. So there is a ceremony is going to happen or a function is going to happen where they are going to reward few people. I wanted to announce each prize winner's name in a succession. That means one after the other on the conference room screen display after a wait of five seconds. That means in, in the screen display of the conference hall, it should show let's say first name is Rakesh. Then the second name is let's say Mohan. The third name is Ravi. All this has to appear one after the other after five seconds delay. Getting it? So that is the practical requirement from Rose. And it, she is asking scripter if, if we can really design it. Okay, so let's get started and start designing this. And our main focus is to learn Bash script arrays. Okay, we will implement using Bash script array this particular user story. So let's get started. First of all, let's save the file. File. So how many files we have created till now? I think total 14 bash scripts we have created. So now this will be the 15th one. 15th underscore batch script array. So okay, our main agenda is array. Uh, so let me end. Save it as dot bat. Okay, don't forget. Do not save it as text. Dot bat. Save. All right. Now the first thing we will write echo of all this. I have explained what is echo, what is color, and all that in the previous videos. So you must be enjoying all this. Now let's give it a title batch script array okay array example let's say okay and now our main agenda is to create a list or uh, sorry create a array which would contain multiple values right so for that we will use the command set to set a you know set a uh, value to a variable you will use the command set now set and then we can write something called let's say a a is the variable equals to um, and here I am going to write a couple of names. Let's say Rakesh, Mohan, Ravi. So these are the three names given it to variable number A. Now we have to learn about the for each loop. Okay. In for each loop, the syntax is something like this. Okay. So let me write a variable called B. What is this percentage percentage B? We have learned percentage B percentage. I know, you know, you can write percentage and a variable in between and then write percentage. So what is this percentage percentage B then? I'm going to show you. So here, let me complete the command and I'm going to explain it. So percentage will be in and I have to use a parenthesis. Okay, important parenthesis and within parenthesis, we have to write the variable A. Okay, so what is this? This is the syntax of for each or the for loop in Bash script. So make a note of this. So how, what is it? The percentage percentage B, what this will do? We have understood what is percentage A percentage means whatever the values are there in the variable a right if you need those values you have to write percentage variable name percentage that that means it is going to fetch the values of the variable which was already declared in the fourth line now once it fetches it has got three values rakesh mohan ravi and all these values are given with a space okay when you have to write a array you provide a space and write it that's all how many you want you can continue to write Rakesh, space, Mohan, space, Ravi, then wh whosoever name you would like to write, you can continue to write. Now, it, it has got three values. So, the first value will jump to the B, percentage percent B. What is this percentage percent B means? It is an iterator. It is an iterator which is going to carry the value of the first value of A, then the second value of A, then the third value of A from top to bottom. Right? Rakesh, Mohan and Ravi. Getting it? So that this is the syntax percentage percentage being it is an iterator. Okay, to catch the value of the variable which is there in the for loop. Simple. Then I would like to print. So I will say do echo and then I will print. So which is carrying the value of A percentage percentage B? I will write that percentage percentage B. Simple. Pretty simple. Okay. So let, let's first see this. Then we will implement the actual user story. So let me save it and double click okay now you can see what happened because we have kept everything in the for each loop now the first value got printed rakesh then it printed mohan then it printed ravi getting it so the entire the line number four got executed three times and then it is pausing in the fifth 
next line okay so here if you see in the fifth line it got executed three times and it printed eco person b first rakesh then uh, mohan then ravi printed three times then it came to the sixth line to pause you got how it is executing okay great now let's move on to our next thing okay what is the next thing remember many times when you are writing the bash script will run each line at a time each line so this itself is a one liner command but many times you have to write in multi line right multi line you want to put so many uh, you know commands so when you have to write in multi line what you have to do here after do give it a space and put a parenthesis okay and whatever you would like to write write it how many lines you would like to write continue to write so once you you know let's say here i want to write person is b he is the let's say i want to say echo he here are the winners okay something like that i want to print and then um, um, you know i would like to give a time out okay so what i will do i will simply say time out slash t i have explained what is slash t t stands for time out in seconds okay time out in seconds and here i will put uh, let's say 5 seconds okay 5 seconds and here i will put a no break what is no break it will not allow anybody if it is somebody is hitting enter or any keyboard strokes on the command prompt it is not going to stop it okay so that so all this i have explained in the previous video okay i am just helping you to recall okay then what i will do at the end i will close it so what would happen how many lines i have written one two three lines i have written this all these three lines will be considered as one single line okay so if you if it is possible you have enough space you can write everything in single line but generally that won't be much readable to make it more readable you write it in this way and remember this parenthesis has to be after do on the first line only you have to start the parenthesis and end the parenthesis anywhere you like okay so let me save it and let's quickly run this okay so what is happening look at it rakesh here are the winners and then waiting for and then second winner mohan now everybody is clapping okay now it is again wait for something and it is announcing the final winner ravi here are the winners okay so getting it so likewise it will continue so you can still modify the script little more i will ask you one thing okay let's say rakesh is the third winner mohan is the second winner and ravi is the first winner so it has to show a message rakesh the third winner is rakesh uh, the second winner is mohan the first winner is ravi it has to show in that way so see you got all the commands you have to just put your logic and design that okay so design it and anyone who has completed please mention that you have completed the exercise of designing this winner competition okay so thank you guys please do it and let me know in the comment section so we'll meet in the next video thank you don't forget to subscribe and give it a like